Good afternoon, JT and Jack. It is Wednesday, and today I'll be finishing up talking about the month of May, as well as some other things, because I actually have time this time. But we'll get to that. Since we left off on the 14th, it would be good to start up again on the 15th. So on May 15th, something pretty cool happened. There was this company called My Afton that contacted me. And basically, the conversation went like this. Hello, Mr. Isaac Wilson. I have researched the internet, and I found your music on this wonderful website called Bandcamp. And I am looking for great artists in the Nashville community to play at these venues. Would you like to play a show in Nashville? Why am I after your words? They speak beautiful poetry. Of course, I would love to play a show in Nashville. Well, that sounds wonderful. We will hook you up with the BB King's venue on May 29th, and you have to sell 10 tickets. You think you are up for it? Why, that seems a little bit challenging, but I am up for the challenge. I will take it. Of course, I didn't really say the challenge part because that made me sound like I couldn't do it. Splendid! We will see you on May 29th at BB King's at 5 p.m. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you play your best. So that whole conversation lasted over the course of a week because it was over email. Basically, I'm now playing a show at a club where Little Richard and Johnny Cash and Jimi Hendrix all played at and that's cool. The next day, May 16th, was my birthday, so I enjoyed a alcoholic beverage of my choice. And JT and Jack helped me celebrate, and we went out to a fancy restaurant, and it was wonderful. And we ended up playing Paper Mario into the night, and it was just a lot of fun. Basically, the whole next week after that, not much happened. I just read and kept in touch with my Afton. So on May 27th, I obtained a ukulele, a really good one, too. So I have a ukulele. Woo! May 29th was the day that I was to play the BB King's show in Nashville, and I did play it, and it was a lot of fun. There was one rowdy individual, however, that really enjoyed my music and had wooing and cheering throughout the whole show, and I had no idea who this guy was. He was a total stranger. But he walked up to me after I played my set, and he introduced himself. He told me that he had been a producer for 18 years. He's produced albums for the Black Keys, and Paramore and other bands and whatnot and he said that he knows when someone gets music and after my performance he told me that I got music he, he wanted to record my stuff it was exciting and all the emotions yeah! Dude, should I trust this guy is he actually who he claims to be and I was very skeptical throughout the whole thing but like if like if if this was it then then yeah, I'm planning on contacting him today or tomorrow to make sure he's still good with it. So that was the month of May. It kind of went downhill and then it came back up again. And it seems like it's going uphill now. So it's it's good. All right, so let's talk about some other things. Jack, you talked in your last video about Pokemon and which Pokemon you would use against any random person in battle. And I would like to get to that, but I don't think I have enough time to discuss which Pokemon I would use in their movesets, and honestly, I haven't put much thought into it. But I do know that one of them will probably be Blastoise based on personal bias. The last thing I wanted to talk about was punishments because I accrued not one, but two punishments in last week's vlog. Because the video was past four minutes, so I already knew I was getting one punishment, but I had internet troubles, and I also ended up posting it past 6.15. So I broke the only two rules that we currently have in place in one video. That's wonderful. So... I'm still looking for punishment. If you want to leave some more punishment ideas, put some down in the doobly-doo below. JT, I will see you on Friday. It's the taste of freedom.